Hi guys, my name's Chris with the Robonics Gaming and this is Rachel Legends. So in this video I'm going to be talking about the Battle Pass and this is just kind of like my thoughts on the Battle Pass. Um, if it's good or not, if it's worth investing in and just kind of, you know, we're just going to go over this season's Battle Pass um, to see what kind of stuff we're going to get from this investment. Um, so uh, let's get right into it. Let's have a look. So Battle Pass, this dropped in uh, patch 1.13 of Rage Trail Legends. And it's just kind of like a pathway to a whole load of new rewards. So as well as your your dailies, your weeklies, your monthlies that you've got um, on these and your challenges, your missions as well. You should all be working on these missions to get to work towards Arbiter. Uh, down here. Is probably one of the best champions in the game. Hopefully, still is one of the best champions in the game. Um, you also get the battle pass now. Uh, so two versions of it. There's the free version, which you just get for for being here for playing, and there's the gold pass version. Um, so yeah, let's have a have a look at the gold pass and how much it is. Uh, so currently, if I brought this gold pass today, I'm currently at level eleven. I would get all these rewards instantly, and I would continue on the gold path from level 11. Um, and this is £24 to get this gold pass. Uh, there is another, another option here to get the gold pass plus levels, which is £40, and that gives you 25 levels additional. Um, that does say plus 25 levels, so I'm hoping that's just 25 plus 11. Um, but yeah, so you can buy... The, Pay you can buy that to give you an extra boost in the in the season, um, and then once you've done that, you can also buy additional levels if you wanted to after this to like boost your way up to the end, um, and get you there m so much more quicker. But again, that's more money for the investment, <coughs> um, more more money invested for the rewards that you're gonna get anyway. Um, but yeah. However, there is one additional thing that you get by purchasing levels um personally i wouldn't recommend it because you're just paying to get to somewhere quicker um but what you are paying for with these levels is the benefit of having uh the experience and silver buffs on your account for longer um which yeah it can be a big boost to a lot of accounts <coughs> um as uh, especially as like the last pit the the extra um, boost is the twenty percent boost, which comes at level 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 ninety. So if you go all the way up to level ninety, uh, just doing doing it the normal way with dailies and weeklies, uh, chances are you're you're not gonna have too long to use the you know, you're not gonna get the full amount of use out of this twenty percent because you're only gonna have like you know, a week or or so with the full buffs. Um. But anyway, that is a benefit to paying for levels as well as getting the other champions quicker as well, so you can build them up and play with those for a bit. Um, so yeah. Um, now, well, I do like the idea of the battle pass, um, and I've probably I've gone over this in other videos. I don't like the idea of still having a subscription requirement and um, you know all the other events that are going on at the minute because it does make you feel like you need to. Uh, invest a lot more money than just the battle pass um however if you are considering playing the playing this game for a while um you want to get into this you, you definitely know you're gonna be playing for it for a while at least the next two months and um uh, you're kind of wondering you know if you want to get a boost to your account which kind of route should you go for uh battle pass is going to be the one to invest in even if you consider yourself as a free-to-play player who maybe just spends uh, every, every now and then on so any energy top ups or uh, or something like that i would highly recommend try uh, looking at this battle pass and maybe making this purchase as it is kind of it's kind of like a mini subscription so you're paying 12 pound per month to get a load of extra uh rewards for the game um <clears throat> yeah plus you get guaranteed champions from it as well which is always a bonus um, and some of them are looking pretty good. So you get two, right? You get two rare champions, which kind of 
Ghost Gever, which are you get your first one as soon as you purchase a battle pass, which is this champion. Uh, Frozen Banshee. And move up the list. You get the Forgotten Finder. Uh, another one, and this is as a, and this is with a free version as well. But there's another champion which is Grave Chill Killer, and these kind of these champions kind of have a little synergy together, uh, which is kind of nice. But you're able to acquire both of these champions. Um, there are also some epic champions, uh, which is Ursin Ice Crusher, and the other one is on the free line as well. Um, where is he? It's going to be all the way up here. Uh, at level ninety, and this is Ursin Ironhide, and these are kind of, these are two champions that kind of uh, have a little synergy together as well. The two bears. You also get a third epic champion, which is this guy Stagnite. He has got some good skills and then a passive ab uh, ability, which is kind of a niche ability. In that you'll kind of need to build build your team around this champion for people who require accuracy, uh, for people who require high accuracy as well that are always kind of trying to cast uh, debuffs. And then of course, like the big win is the legendary champion that you get at the end, or once you reach a level one hundred, which is Wolverine Frost King. And now this guy, I I haven't. Been able to play with him, but he has some, he has some buffs. He's got some big buffs. Um, what have we got here? Yeah, so this this champion with his skill, he kind of like decreases, um, your opponent's crit damage and increases your whole team's crit damage by thirty percent on both sides. And then he's got this one, which is just gonna like toughen you guys up as well, with a twenty-five percent strength and buff, and a sixty percent increased defense buff on all allies for two turns. Um, which are some nice, nice buffs to have. Uh, defense and arena as well by thirty percent, and he's got a freeze on his A one, thirty percent chance to freeze, goes up fifty percent, and places a perfect veil on a ally with the lowest HP. So. Kind of a nice all-round character with some some really good buffs, help your team along, and also could be teamed up with um, <clears throat> other champions. Has I'm get I'm assuming this champion might have a pretty good synergy with like Tormin. Um, well, there's probably a few other ones there as well, which will work really well. Um, so yeah. Well, um, as you can see with my account, I don't currently have the battle pass active at the minute. Uh, the gold version um, and that's because just with everything that's been going on with raid lately i've kind of had a step back a bit so i'm still kind of considering whether to buy it or not because i don't know if i'm going to be investing that much time in this game um uh, uh for it to make it a per a, a worthwhile purchase for me um but yeah, I'm always probably going to end up purchasing that anyway. Just uh, yeah, I'm just taking a, a bit of a step back from this game and <clears throat> trying out some other other stuff. <clears throat> Calibria. Um. So yeah, but generally, if you are playing, well, even if you're free to play or you know, someone who invests a lot of money, um, I would definitely consider buying the gold bot, uh, the gold battle pass for this, as you're going to get a ton of rewards. Uh, even some that we don't know what they are yet. Um, you know, loads of shards, loads of gems, loads of energy, chickens, just a load of stuff. So, in my eyes, definitely worth the investment uh, over more than the subscription. And especially a lot of the um, shard packs and stuff that you can buy. Because these are all by luck from what you get from these shards. Yes, you can get some rare shards and one epic uh, yes, you can get some rare champions and one epic champion with a nice amount of energy and gems, but the champions that you get from these are all randomized. You don't know what you're going to get. Um, so most of the time, you're probably not going to get anything that's going to be useful. 
especially if you've already accum accumulated quite a few champions. Um, but with the battle pass, especially currently with this one, you know you can get some champions that you probably won't have in your roster as these are new champions. Um, yeah, just you're just getting a lot of value from it. Um, so yeah, that's my thoughts on battle pass. Anyway, it is uh, a nice addition to the game to have there, but definitely don't feel pressured like you have to buy this, or don't feel pressured that. You know, there's all these other things going on in a minute that you feel like you need to invest in as well. Um, if you're going to invest in one thing in this game, I would recommend Battle Pass over everything else. Um, just to give you, you guys a nice boost. It's just purely based on all the items that you're getting from this investment. Um, so yeah, uh, so that's it for, for this video if you disagree with any of this video please leave a comment below um yeah or if you agree stick a comment in there as well um hit that like button and subscribe and hopefully i'll see you guys again in a, in a in the next video take care guys